Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. About to react to this vid. This is 10 dumbest decisions in horror movies. They make a lot of stupid decisions in horror movies every time. You be yelling at the TV like, bro, why would you do that? But it's it's very common. I think it adds to the appeal, actually. <laughs> I think they do this on purpose so that we get all emotionally invested into what's happening. But anyway, let's see what stupid decisions they make in this video. Let's watch. Anyone who's watched a horror movie knows one thing. The characters make horrible decisions. Absolutely. But if they made good decisions, odds are we wouldn't have the movie. So here are some horrible decisions made exactly. by characters in they horror have to movies. Make stupid and I hope it goes without warning that there are spoilers ahead. Number 10, Jeepers Creepers checking the pipe. After practically being chased by a terrifying lunatic truck driver in the middle of literal nowhere, they get out the goddamn car. Our main protagonists, Darry and Trish, spot the shady, sinister looking character who is driving the truck, depositing what looks like a rolled up corpse into a pipe at the side of the road. The shady looking character then quite obviously stares down the two as they drive by, exactly. knowing that they witnessed what he had just done. Exactly. Having to now dispose of the witnesses, the truck driver emerges once again, ramming Darry's car off the road before continuing on down the road. Now and they a normal go back person would just get out of there and report the incident to the first cop they encounter. However, this wouldn't be a horror movie without a horrible idea. Darry decides to go back and check out what was dumped inside the pipe instead of getting to the nearest phone and calling the police. He ends up falling inside the pipe after getting scared by a couple of rats and ultimately becomes the creeper's next target. Number nine, Shut Drag up. Me to Hell, not checking the envelope. At the end of Drag Me to Hell, after Christine had seemingly gotten rid of the cursed button that was sent her to hell, movie. Clay, her boyfriend, pulls out a familiar envelope containing none other than the cursed <laughs> button. It turned out she had mistakenly she gotten rid of hell, Clay's right? envelope containing a quarter instead of the one containing the button. Had Christine simply made the right decision and checked the contents of the envelope first, she would have been freed from the eternal curse. Yeah, she got dead. <laughs> Number eight, the ending of I Am Legend. This is not a horrible show. At the end of I Am Legend, Robert Neville decides to sacrifice himself by putting the antidote into Anna's hand and putting her and her son into a reinforced coal shed before pulling the pin off a grenade and blowing himself up along with the rampaging dark seekers. differently though was just lob the grenade at them and get into the shaft since it can obviously fit another person and it would only take two steps for Robert to get inside number seven maybe it's Helen's not living death. I know what you did last summer people said that about uh Titanic too they just like it was enough room for him he didn't have to die he could have you know stayed on that shit with Rose but you know it adds to the appeal of the movie but sure while on the run for her life from a crazed hook welding killer, Helen finds herself only a few feet away from freedom where a marching band and onlookers are seen walking by. But Helen's pointless and foolish decision to turn around and look behind her at the last possible moment instead of running into the crowd of people is nothing short of moronic. Yeah, yeah, this was stupid. Leads she does to a stop. Death that could have been easily avoided. Like, girl, what? When you heard the noise, you should have just ran faster. Yeah, this is stupid. You deserve to die. Number six, the hand trap, Saw 2. Addison's death is one of the most easily avoided in the entire Saw series. <laughs> Inside of a glass box with two holes in it is an antidote. If Addison were to walk to the other side of the box, she would have seen a lock with a key sticking out of it, which in turn would have unlocked the box and allowed her to access the antidote without harm. However, she makes the rash decision to put both of her hands inside of the holes, both getting them. herself caught in the blades fitted in the holes. Both of them. That girl. Number five, not closing the beach in Jaws. After hearing the news of a giant great white I shark on the loose near the shore, Mayor Vaughn refuses to close the local... I don't watch real, real old movies. 
I don't want to see that. If that came out before uh, before 1990, I don't want to watch it. And that's that's pushing it. I don't want to watch it. And I'm pretty sure Jaws is like giving 70s, 80s. I'm sorry. The 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 graphics are too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the plot is good, I don't want to see these terrible graphics. It's not worth my time. Local beach and Personally. safeguard as citizens. Look, we depend on the summer people here for our very lives. You're not going to have to this summer. 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 We're not only going to have to close the beach, we're going to have to hire somebody to kill the shark. I mean, we're going to have to tell the Coast Guard. Mr. Fuller, we're going to have to get started with shark research. Deciding tourism income is more important than the actual safety of those tourists. Mayor Vaughn soon learns of the consequences for his greedy mistake. Number four, the purge, letting somebody into the house, and leaving the safe room. There were so many horrible decisions made in this movie that it would be hard not to include more than one. Firstly, one of, if not the biggest one, was when the son, Charlie, decided to disarm the house security system to allow Wait, a stranger into his home on the night of the purge when any stranger can rob you, hurt you, or kill you and your entire family and get away with it. He felt bad. Not to mention, this man is also being chased by purgers. Oh, he This symbiotic decision is, of course, what led to everything afterward in the movie, including the death of Charlie's own father. Another ridiculous decision in the movie was the choice of the entire family to leave the safe room while their house is under attack. Why did they do that? I don't remember. When a load of maniacs are set to break into your house baying for blood and you have a perfectly good safe room and a bunch of guns at hand, surely it makes sense to hold up there and blast away whoever so much as breathes near the door. But that would be too logical for a horror movie. So the family splits up, making themselves easier to pick off one by one. Number three, Halloween Resurrection, trying to unmask Michael Myers. In the beginning of the eighth installment of the franchise, Laurie Strode finally captures Michael Myers. As she gets ready to cut the rope that he's dangling on and end her nightmare forever, she decides to unmask him and see if it's really her brother. She fails to realize that even though he's hanging upside down, his hands are still free. So Number weird. two, Scream I like Halloween or uh, Jason. When the ghost face killer traps Tatum in the garage, she actually manages to put up a good fight for a bit, getting the killer on the ground several times. <laughs> However, instead of kicking the killer while he's down or looking for something to use as a weapon in the garage, she decides to crawl out a pet door, which is clearly too small for her to fit into. This is so this will never And number one, saw the foot amputation. After being unable to reach the phone with his arm, Dr. Gordon decided his only choice was to sever yeah, his foot. Good. Or he could have used the saw to grab it. <laughs> what the fuck? That is true. Gordon decided his only. After being unable to reach the phone with his arm, or. Station. After being unable to reach the phone with. His arm, Doctor Gordon decided his only choice was to sever his foot, or he could have used the saw to grab it. That saw was long as hell. You could have easily used it to pull the phone to you. Bye. You just didn't want no foot at this point. 
Um, this is the other reason why I don't like watching older movies <laughs> and specifically older horror movies because they doing stupid shit like this. Like, yes, the graphics are terrible, but additionally, they're doing things that don't make no fucking sense at all. It's like, all right, this makes no sense whatsoever. Now in the more modern horror movies, they will still make stupid decisions, but it's more so like, oh, let me go check because I hear a noise. Like, who's out there? You know, it's, it's that type of stupid shit. But even that is a little bit relatable because if it's your fucking house, you want to, you know, know somebody in your house. You want to go downstairs and, and see if a nigga is there with a weapon, of course. But, you know, that's more understandable. But this, this is just stupid. Nobody would do these things. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.